previously. Oh my god, do they really have a second torrential? It was another torrential! Why did I do that? On Master Duel Masochist. Please tell me this is the end. I probably should have switched something to defense, I'll be honest. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh my lord! What is a deck? A collection of cards that is an extension of the player? A tool used to win tournaments? A reflection of oneself? What gives a deck meaning? The individual cards? The number of victories? Or what about the will to never give up? Does a deck inherently possess meaning? Or do we as players assign meaning to the deck? Can we create meaning from nothing? What if we created a new Master Duel account, ignored the starter decks, and restricted the account to the minimum amount of Master Packs possible to create a legal, although not necessarily playable deck, of 40 main deck cards and throw ourselves into ranked? If we somehow miraculously defeat an opponent, we can upgrade our deck with one additional Master Pack. Can we achieve something like this in Master Duel that only a masochist would try? I guess there's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel Masochist. To the Master Pack gods, I am begging you, please be something good. Dual Avatar, not using that. Common Soul, that's like one of the worst cards ever. Speedroid Rubber Band Plane, I think I have pulled one of these before. Subterror Behemoth Burrowing. We're not playing Subterrors. Regular Gyroid, which, to be fair, is not the worst card, but Gladius is just better. Shell Knight. <laughs> That's terrible. It's not bad. Cycle Reader's kind of cool. Uh, very situational card. Obviously, it's more of like a side deck card, but it is like a tuner, incidentally, so like that could be relevant, but I just feel like it's... If it had better stats, we'd maybe play it. Let's say the other card. Mulan Glacia. Uh, yeah, we're not exactly playing a water deck. Wow. That was anticlimactic for getting back to gold, but we did it. We are back in gold. It's pretty great to take a look to see, like, how far the deck has come as we go through each bracket, whether or not we get downgraded or upgraded. Uh, it's neat. We've gotten some neat additions. I don't know. Are we ever going to make it to platinum with this deck? It's hard to say. Maybe if I take all the cards I've opened thus far and looked at them with fresh eyes and rebuilt the deck from scratch, I wonder if I would come up with this same configuration. Something to think about, I suppose. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to start off today's episode a little bit different. I actually went and deleted my entire Master Duel deck. I actually kept it, I just copied it. But I essentially started from scratch and I wanted to see what would happen if I rebuilt the deck with all the cards that we've collected thus far. And this is what I came up with. It's basically the same, but I made a few slight modifications. So the only modifications I really made are I threw in Nova Summoner because Nova Summoner actually has a few targets now and maintaining a body on board is actually quite good if we want to tribute summon or just maintain some pressure. So our targets for this, the main target is actually Herald of Orange Light. And this is pretty good because it's a tuner, which means that with any of our level fours, we can actually sink into high speed Roid Kendama which if we have a clear field, we can actually bring Kendama back and it's a 2200. So that's actually a pretty solid move. But we also have Vylon Ohm. Now I'd rather normal summon Vylon Ohm, but this is a target if we absolutely have to search for something. But Vylon Ohm is actually pretty neat in and of itself. On normal summon, I get to target an equip spell in the grave, banish it, and then if I do, add it to my hand during the next standby phase. So what's neat here is that cards like Solitary Sword of Poison and Parasomnia Pillow, which are arguably some of the best cards we have in Masochist, I'm able to recycle them if the game goes long enough, which means we can potentially take out another large threat again, granted we have to wait one full turn cycle to do so. So I identified that synergy there and I figured it was worth trying out. We also went ahead and added uh, back in the calculator because 
Now that we have some trap monsters like Wakero, like uh, Zoma, we're able to special summon monsters a lot more easily than we were able to early on in the series. And so Calculator, even like Nova Summoner going to Ohm, right? So Calculator actually can have a lot higher attack than it would previously. And so I want to see if this is actually a combo we can pull off now, or if this is still just nothing but cope. I also threw Giant Rex in. This is just a 2K normal summon, but the biggest downside is that it can't attack directly. But it's fine because if Giant Rex is the card that's always taking out a monster that's set, for instance, then that's completely okay. And I figure having the Giant Beater is probably worth it. Now, I ended up putting in a new card in the extra deck called Chaos Beast. Now, you're probably wondering why the Herald is in here otherwise, but Chaos Beast is sick because it requires a Light Tuner, which Herald of Orange Light is, and any non-tuner Dark Monster. So this condition can be fulfilled with something like Shura, and uh, I believe there's one or two other Dark Level 4s. DD Survivor is another one that's in here as well. But Chaos Beast is just a 2,000 level 6. If any card was banished this turn, it gains 1,000 attack, and then it has some following effects that it can be used once per turn. You can target one of your banished light or darks and add it to your hand, and also during the main phase, except the turn this was sent to the graveyard, you can banish a light and a dark from either hand or graveyard and special summon this from the graveyard. So we have a lot of light and dark monsters in this deck. I mean, the whole Herald package. We have Yagen, which is randomly a light. Just there's a lot of light monsters in here, but then we also have a lot of darks, like the Shura, the DD Survivor. There's a few other ones in here as well, like Mist Archfiend. Uh, I think MK3 is a light. Timebreaker Magician is most likely not going to Graveyard, but it is a dark. Aether, same thing. It's a dark. Uh, but again, these might go to the Pendulum Zone. In any case, the point being is that this is a recurrable 2,000 attack point monster that if we summon it once, again, the game has to go long enough for it to be relevant, but it's actually a decent synchro monster that we didn't really have access to before. So aside from that, the deck is pretty much the same, and uh, I'm actually actually excited to see how this plays out because I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get to dueling. So most of you have probably already figured it out. We did, in fact, get deranked again. It's so tough because if we don't commit enough time or it takes us too long to get through silver, I don't even want to try getting through gold because it's going to take way too long to get through gold. So my goal for this month is to try to get through gold. We are going to try to push for platinum as hard as we can. And so... Let's see how much easier this is going to be with our new deck. I'm not feeling super confident, but hopefully silver is going to be a little bit easier than it was last time. All right, we got disconnected from that unchained opponent, so hopefully uh, this is going to be a much easier time. Looking at the hand, it's fine. Fluffle Leo also is a fairy, so if we do happen to, like, draw Herald of Orange Light, we do have the possibility to actually activate it to negate a monster effect. It's pretty unlikely, and with our deck, we probably don't want to do that, but I try to add a few more fairies in just so that Herald of Orange Light is a bit more playable. Oh, yeah, we're so screwed. We're not beating this. Uh, okay. I mean, we have Extinction on schedule, so I shouldn't completely rule this out. They do have uh, Flirtily, though, so I don't expect this is going to go very well. Um, Do I want to set everything? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. So we know they have flirtily, so we do have to deal with that. Best case scenario, if we can actually steal flirtily, that would be pretty sick. Do I just utopian aura this and just like hope? Eh, screw it. They had a slow start. Sure, let's get rid of the stapling. Let's just go super aggro. Okay. <laughs> Didn't think that would work. That's sick. Uh, fuck it. Let's just go all in. Okay, I did not think we would have them down to a thousand life points. <laughs> 
I have Aether. If I can survive, if they try to do something, we just Aether, like, banish it and just go for game? Oh, uh, that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly. That's the only unfortunate part of taking Alibur. I had a feeling that that would happen. All right. I don't know how we're outing Mirror Jade. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Maybe we have Aether to out it. If I safe zone this... No, I let this go. Problem is, if I Aether banish the Mirror Jade, it doesn't matter because then I get wiped. Oh, it's during the end phase, though. Oh, maybe we'll be fine. Get back Alibur, and then they can fuse. So, I actually want to try to keep this Leo. The problem is I still can't act... Hmm. The problem is now I can't banish both things. So, I'm wondering if it's even worth it for me to keep it. I can only kill one. Yeah, we'll let it go. Okay. It's a monster. Um... Hmm... I could try to just live. See if we can, like, get lucky with extinction on schedule. We're going to take a lot of damage, though. We'll try it. Yeah, if we would have fired that preemptively, we'd be on turn two now. And then on their battle phase, if we survive, they'd be on turn three. Also... I'm stupid. We could just straight up have Zoma kill them. But they'll probably just banish with Mirror Jade anyway. So, it actually probably doesn't matter. Yeah, even if we safe zone, they could have just done that with Mirror Jade last turn anyway. So, it wouldn't have really mattered. Yeah, I think we're dead. I can't believe we got this close, though. Uh, I just hope they don't read. Please don't read. Please just attack. Please just attack and don't read. Please just attack and don't read. <gasps> They're not reading! They're not reading! Yeah! Let's fucking go for not reading! <laughs> we did it! Oh my god! Fuck you, Brandon! Oh my fucking god! Shout outs to not reading, ladies and gentlemen! Let's fucking go! Oh my god, it's good to be back! I cannot believe we got away with that. That is insane. <laughs> Let's open a pack. That was well-deserved. Holy shit. Oh, I'm in a phenomenal mood now. What do we get? Disciple of Nephthys. Terrible. Mobius the Mega Monarch. I wish it was like the OG Mobius. Squib Draw is a rocket card. Mad Hacker. This card's kind of interesting. If a monster special summon to your opponent's field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then during the end phase, you can banish this card, take control of one monster your opponent controls with the lowest attack. But while it's on your field, it can't activate its effects. You can't special summon the extra deck. That's irrelevant, but it's kind of cool that I could take stuff. If they only have one monster, I just take their biggest thing. That's interesting. I feel like that's like on the verge of being playable. Royal Firestorm Guards is kind of sick, just not exactly strong. Code Talker is actually a Link 2 that we could summon. Uh, it's not going to be particularly big, but at least it's something that... Uh, well, I guess it can't be destroyed by battle while it's pointing to something. Hmm. 
Another fusion of fire. That sucks. We already have one of those. What do we get? Incantation Chalice Slime. Sadly, that's not going to do us any good. Okay. Uh, let's open up. I think we got one Legacy Ticket. Let's see if that was, in fact, the case. We did. Let's go open up that one Legacy Pack. Puppet Master. If only we had, like, fiends that were, like, worth summoning off of this. That'd be pretty sick. I... It's only on Tribute Summon. We have to have the Fiends already engraved. Yeah, it's probably not good enough. That would be sick, though. Crawling Dragon number two. All right. So nothing too great from the packs. We're probably just going to keep playing. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what's better. That last win that we just had or the time that we beat the Invoked player. I, that's up for debate. But in either case, I am on cloud nine after that. Let's see what we got. Can we, keep, can we get a little win streak going? We don't have any removal in this hand, so that's this is gonna be a bit rough. Let's see what happens. Always a great way to start off when uh, you go first and max C yourself, okay. Okay. So clearly this is bait, right? Uh, I'll take it. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna try this. The first time it would be destroyed by card effect, it is not destroyed. They just pass here, right? What the fuck can they do? Okay, we might have just won the game. Whiff a draw, please? Please? There's no shot. No way. Fucking get in. Oh my god. Oh my god, first that and we beat fucking Pearly? What is going on? We're unbeatable. We can't lose. Silver four, in, we're two for two already. Oh, it's the dawn of a new era, ladies and gentlemen. Buckle up. Give me that, what the fuck is it? That card's terrible. Give me that legacy ticket. That's what we want. All right, new master pack coming in hot. I, I cannot believe how crazy this has been. Two for two, getting a nice upgrade on the master pack as well. Two ultras? Oh my God, this is insane. King Scarlet, hilarious. Uh, this card's terrible. Sorry, buddy. Uh, Malice Lady of Lament, terrible. Backup Rider, hold up. Target to face a monster gains 1500 attack? We have to play this. This is crazy. Okay. Ice Jade Erosion. We don't have Ice Jade, so I don't think we can play that. Electromagnetic Shield. Not very good. Okay, let's see what this is first. Not a particularly good card now, but, you know, Runix. It's fine. 
Watt Hydra, which I don't think we can conceivably summon. Please be good. Magnifica, if only we actually <laughs> had Exo Sisters. God damn it. I hate the ultra rares are so hard to get, like just something good and generic, but that's just how it is. Backup Rider, this card's crazy. That's going in the deck for sure. We have to open our uh, legacy pack first though. So let's see what we get. All right, legacy pack, please be kind to me. Soul Demolition. This is like a really old card. Yeah, not that great. Card Rotator. I think I remember this from Sealed Showdown. Change the battle positions of all monsters your opponent currently controls. I guess like the sort of neat thing about this is that it can change stuff to like from defense to attack and then we can like get in with it, but it's a minus one. And most of the time we're probably going to be losing. Let's be honest. And stuff's going to be in attack position already. So I think I'd rather just stick with like my kunai with chain and like random crap like that. So it's it's not bad. It's It could have been like a war. It could have been another soul demolition, right? I think what's crazy is that I haven't really gotten to play with any of the new changes to this deck so far. But we're on this win streak now. So, uh, I mean, we'll keep it up. Surely our luck will end at some point. I think that's probably now, but I won't rule it out. Okay. It's big. Holy shit. Oh, we're just dead. Ah! Uh... We can wall up. We're probably still dead. God, even if we take... Oh, no, because we can just kill this. Try to, anyway. All right, we'll see. This is, this is going to take some maneuvering. Yeah, I don't think they have piercing. Now they overlay. I think the biggest problem here is that even if we do force this out, they can just switch us to defense anyway. So I really don't think this matters. Because they're just going to do the thing. Yep, we're dead. We're dead, we're dead, we're dead. Maybe I was getting a little bit overzealous. Maybe I was getting just a little bit overzealous. Decent hand. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Oh, oh, this could get out of hand real quick if this goes well. Okay. I'm trying to think here. I think Rescorpio's the move. As much as I want to go for Lightning Rod Lord, I think we just go in. <clears throat> Drop Max C. Drop Max C preemptively. Do it. Have something on attack deck. Metaverse. Oh, they're just straight up playing this. Okay. This might get interesting. I will say I do not have an out to this card, so this might prove to be very annoying. This would be, if we could pull this as an ultra in the master pack, this would be insane. Damn. <laughs> I've got their harpies one card. Whatever. That would have been sick, though, if they already had a monster. Oh, they're just... They just needed me to play stuff. Okay. Okay. I imagine this is not staying on the field. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, what are you making? Synchro 8, what's it going to be? Link. <clears throat> Muckracker. We did it! They conceded as soon as they saw the Suprex. <laughs>
Three wins in four games. Oh my God. Give me those master packs. Let's see what we We need some upgrades for the deck. I swear. I mean, maybe we don't. We're winning. Maybe we're just fine how we are, honestly. Oh, and another you are? Is it going to be Dark Sanctuary? I'd appreciate it. Clock Tower Prison. This is... So for people who have don't know this card, um... If we play against a deck that does not have spell or trap removal, and granted the game goes four turns, we just don't take battle damage, which means that we kind of just live forever. And strangely enough, against decks that are like at our tier, like the, the starter decks, the Dark Magicians, the different things like that, this card's not that bad because there's a pretty decent chance we might actually be able to survive. Unfortunately, I think it's a little bit too slow, but I haven't completely ruled it out in my mind. Big cattle drive. Six Samurai in Nishi. Need to play six Sams for him to be any good. Gotham Swordmaster. Old ass card. Simorg Bird of Protection. Simorg's a bit interesting. You get to bounce a back row. Then if it's in your graveyard, they don't control spells or traps. So we get to special it. But then we can't... Special summon except Winged Beast, which honestly isn't too important. It's kind of just like Tribute Fodder. That's not a bad card. I think I'd consider maybe playing that. Uh, this is Magistus. Not great. We care about these. White Aura Behomet. Uh, we're not summoning that. That's going to be impossible. White Howling. Fortunately, that also sucks too. That's fine. It's bound to happen. Not every pack can be a winner. I think it's really sad that Clock Tower Prison is sadly maybe the most playable card in that pack. That's not true. Simorg's actually pretty good. Uh, let's open our Legacy Packs. Okay, we got two of these bad babies. Let's see what we're going to get. Something good. Underworld Egg Clutch. That's not very good. Performa Pal Teeter Totter Hopper. I don't think I've ever seen this card in my life. And that's why it's not very good. Okay, next. Pale Beast, Monk Fighter. Great. Both terrible. Uh, man, I just want to, I guess we got one playable card. I guess we have one playable card from the pack before this. So I just want some other stuff. We want more upgrades for the deck. We were doing so good. I want to keep the streak going. See, this is where I'm not super enthused about Vylon Ohm. Oh, they're playing a real deck. If we don't have any of our equips, Vylon Ohm is actually just terrible. Oh, Dark Lords. That's bad. Those are huge. All right, Staplin. <laughs> it's you against the world. <laughs> yeah, it seems the... Um Seems the, the branded Despia deck is getting its revenge for uh, a few games back. <laughs> oh, man. We're, we're... This isn't looking good. <laughs> this has been the most value a Staplin has ever gotten, ever. Just straight up ever. This is insane. Uh, I don't think this matters, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, lose that 300 attack. 
Uh, we're we're not gonna win this. We're not. We're I'm, <laughs> okay. We're done messing around. <laughs> See, this would be kind of sick. If we actually had a fairy in hand, we could like, her like in this exact instance, if we herald this Moe, oh, they had another one, Never mind. If we heralded this Moe, we might've actually like won the game, but uh, no, they had a second one. So that's just not happening. I already know they have the thing. Do I? I'm not even gonna wait for the draw. I'm not even gonna wait for the draw. All right, what deck do you think they're playing? Oh, I actually would not have guessed that. What does this deck end on now? They probably still have a line to Siegfried, which if that's the case, that sucks. Because then our back to square one's basically useless. There's the Siegfried. Yep. <laughs> I like how they went through all of that just to ride Geki, my one monster. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're, uh, we're dead. In some universe, I'm like, I can fog blade the Siegfried and then try to back to square one. And then like, maybe I can Aether banish something, but then uh, it, it worked better in my head. It worked better in my head. What's interesting is that Zoma is also a dark. So theoretically, Harold and Zoma can make Chaos Beast. Oh, I may not even need to do that. Wouldn't be silver without the self DK decks. All right, we're already back to silver three. That's pretty quick. Three legacy tickets. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go ahead and go shopping. Let's get our master pack. Maybe this one will be a bit more promising. I feel like the master packs have been a bit lackluster this episode. Judge of the Ice Barrier is actually, and I can't believe I'm about to say this about an Ice Barrier card, not bad. The only part of this effect that matters, it's an 1800, but at the end here, it says you can ban- Oh, you have to control an Ice Barrier. Oh, fuck that. Never mind. All right, they're all terrible. All the Ice Barrier cards are just bad. Neos Force is unplayable. Amber, I think, is only really good if we're playing, like, Gem Knights in the slightest. Bellcat Fighter. You need a token. Does Shape Sister summon as a token? Wait a minute, my Parasomnia Pillow is a token. I think I might throw this in just cause like I could, there could be a world I actually summon that. That card's terrible, Neos Knight. I think that's our second one of those. Bad Luck Blast. This card's not very good. It's a minus one, but because we're playing like this weird aggro deck, the fact that we can like Target a monster our opponent has, we take 1,500 damage, and then they take 1,500. Like, say it's a blue eyes, right? 3,000 attack blue eyes. We take 1,500 damage. They take 1,500. If that wins the game, it's just a bad card. It's just like a really bad burn card. Ubel, Terror, Incarnate. All right. Uh, this pack really sucked. That, that pack was not good. Let's see if the legacy packs are any better better, but I doubt it because they're legacy packs. Stygian Dirge, to be fair, is actually like an okay card. It's like a side deck card, sadly. Level Resist Wall. If a monster you control is destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect, target one of those monsters. Special summon monsters from the deck in defense position, so their combined levels equal the level of that monster but negate their effects. This is kind of cool because it gives me another monster, but the problem is the effects get negated. So the only real value would be to just have it for a tribute or for a synchro potentially. This is like a way to get the Herald, for instance, straight from the deck. 
I'd have to combine it with another monster to do that, though. So if it's a level four, I don't even know if I have another level two monster. I guess the calculator. Interestingly enough, though, then, if I have a level four, I could sink into, like, a level eight, which I don't have, but, you know, hypothetically speaking. That card's kind of neat. I'm going to think about that one. Tadpole, Musician King. At least Musician King's like in... Oh, Instant Fusion's banned in Master Duel, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Chorus of Sanctuary, Sonic Bird. At least like Sonic Bird is useful if we ever get like a ritual focus strategy. But uh, sadly, I think this is slightly better than the, the Master Pack, which is really saying something. Level Resist Wall, I think I definitely want to think about. I wish this Summonite was, like, a more relevant card. But aside from that, this hand's pretty good. Any game that starts with my opponent firing swords or revealing light, I am all for it. Uh, I don't have to do anything. I think I'm just gonna set Kunai with Chain and save it for later. I don't want to put monsters out if they're just gonna die. Can't attack, so... Wasn't expecting to see Arborea in a deck playing Swords of Revealing Light, but okay. Arborea's not a one card OTK, is she? Uh oh. Ideally, if they sink everything into an Equimax, I think we're okay with that. Assuming we can survive. So they have Arborea, Leonis, and now Lina to give them arrows? Still can't attack. Uh, I also don't think I want to set, because I think one of the Crusadias gives piercing. I think they need, like, a monster on the field. I'm just going to pass again. We'll see what happens. I might be dead here, but I thought I was dead last turn, and I wasn't, so. Okay, we knew about both of those. Now, where are we going? Did I just see a double tribute summon for Purple Nightfall? Good thing we didn't give them columns. They can't do anything. This is so fucking funny. That's a good card. Um, okay. This is tricky. I actually think... I want to flashing fire this now because I can't attack this turn anyway. And then next turn, I'm free to do whatever I want. Purple Nightfall is going to come back, and that's kind of annoying. Uh, but we can at least change him to defense position, which is kind of good. So I think we're going to do this. They get to add search off of this, which isn't great. So it's not like the best exchange. But I just don't want to like die from like sheer damage. Which we might anyway. And honestly, maybe that was a bad move because now they can like unbrick themselves, but we'll see. Oh, don't worry. We're never summoning that many monsters. Trust me. <laughs> okay, so they have Nib, Blue Sky. Purple Nightfall is going to come back to their field this turn. This guy's kind of a problem. He's just big. I can actually take out Blue Sky. But he's also just floaty. If we had this in Masochist, oh my god, that would be insane. Uh, I really don't want to kunai with chain this. I can actually get big enough to hit over this, potentially. Yellow st Is their hand just all mech knights? Is that why they can't play? Well, there's a column. They could have done this before.
They didn't add off Blue Sky. Did they have every target in their hand? I'm so confused. Okay, let's get cooking. Uh, so the outlying problem here is that Purple Nightfall can basically kill any of my cards, uh, which is annoying. I don't want to miss Archfiend take out Blue Sky. Leo can take out Blue Sky by itself. So you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. I can keep my kunai with chain. And then if he tries to attack me with purple nightfall, he's going to tag out. And I think we just pass on that. Okay, so I know they have yellow. They're getting purple back. But aside from that, like, they're not doing much. Ideally, if I can kunai with chain this purple nightfall... Oh, I won't be able to aether it, though. Purple nightfall is so sticky. Two blue skies. Okay, that's fine. Maybe they did have all their targets. Don't these decks usually play like two blue or three blue and like two purple and then like a red and a yellow? So is that what's in their hand? And they just don't have columns? Okay, so in damage calc. Oh, shit. I had to do it on attack deck to switch the position. That backfired. Oh, it only it only switches the monster that's declaring the attack anyway. I see. Okay, so he would have had to attack with Purple Nightfall. Now, so here's the interesting thing. If they're out of Mech Knights to search, I don't think they can bounce Purple Nightfall. If I recall, that's how the ruling works. Really wish I had a special summon here. Um, if they don't have a column, they won't be able to special this, though, which is very funny. So, you know what? I'm going to try this. I'm going to pitch this Lightning Rod Lord. I think he's out of targets! Oh my god, hold up! I think they're out of targets. We might have an opening here. Suddenly, this game got a lot more interesting. They're redrawing the purple. They don't have a column. They could have used that to make a column first, but... Okay. Oh my god, please. That's sick. Calculator would be 24. Four? It's not enough to kill. So do I just go for the Colonel because it's safer? I think Colonel's the safer play. Yeah, Colonel's safer. Colonel's also interesting on this board because I can actually remove him to like get rid of columns potentially. The problem is that they have a card, they can just set it and then do it anyway. So they need to have another monster first, but it's cute nonetheless. Then calculator would be 27 if Colonel if uh, if Diabound sticks around. They're probably gonna link here. I need to see where they go with this. What does this do? Doesn't Arborea like protect? If a Crusadia monster you control will be destroyed by a battle card, in fact, you can banish this card from the field of the graveyard instead. So we win, right? So we win, right? Oh, it's only 21. I think we still win, though. Oh, they might have something. So we win, right? There's no way we should have won that. There is no way we should have just won that. Wow. I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say about that. Three legacy packs. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's get our master pack. Please. Please. 
We haven't gotten anything good out of a master pack in ages. Duck Fighter. Well, the streak continues. Branded Retribution. Can't use that. Raid Raptor Strangle Lanius. Guess it's a special summon. Asa the Earth Charmer. Very funny how we have both like upgraded Hita and Asa and then like the baby forms. Uh, Scrap Searcher. I think this card's completely useless to us. <gasps> Magic Cylinder! Oh, <gasps> that's insane! Oh my God, that's like one of the best cards we could have gotten. Not really, but in any case, like that's a playable card and holy shit, that does damage to the opponent. Oh, that's going in 100%. Hellebore, Worm Illidan. I don't care about any of this other shit. That doesn't matter. We pulled Magic Fucking Cylinder. This, oh my God, that is that is crazy. It protects a monster too. It's so good. We still have legacy packs to open. I said I wanted some good stuff out of these packs and so far they have delivered. All right. Let's keep it up, legacy packs. Come on. Ghost Knight of Jack. This is a level five. We can't play that. Noble Main Eater Bug. We've gotten one of those before. We've had that discussion. Creepy Coney. Not very good. Dread Dragon. Honestly, there are worse cards that that could have been. Please. Cyber 2-2. Heavy Metal Raiders. Can we even use this? Each time a dark machine you control will be destroyed by battle, it's not destroyed. You take battle damage, it gains that much attack after damage calc and keeps that attack game while this card's on the field. Once a return of a monster... I don't know if I have dark machines, but like this is a cool build around if we have like shitty cards like we do. I'm going to quickly take a look. So we've got Magic Cylinder in the deck now. We have to take something out. I got to be honest, I haven't been impressed with the calculator. Like even in that instance right there, it didn't feel that strong i maybe it just hasn't come up where it could be as crazy as i want it to be but i think just too much has to go right it just feels like a win more card i'd rather just have like another good monster in its place so it could have been anything in that and we would have still won so it's fine all right let's get to it oh my god this hand looks fucking crazy All right, Dark Magician, what do you got? Ooh, did they brick? They might have. They said Magic Cylinder, though. Please just pass. Oh, this is like the best thing that could have ever happened. Thank you. That's pretty good, too. Okay. Um, I... What's the Dark Magician deck setting? That's weird. In any case, uh, we're going to lead with the Nova Summoner. I could Solitary Sword of Poison this. I don't have to. It's kind of funny, though. But I want Nova Summoner to float into something. Ideally. Um... I guess my only fear at this point is getting blown out by, like, dark magic attack. But if I do, like, so be it. Yeah, this this is where it could get bad. Because if they have dark magic attack in hand and they're summoning dark magician off of this. This is going to suck. Yeah, we might get annihilated here. We might just actually get annihilated here. I'm pretty sure it's a one of in this deck, so like, better have it. Okay, don't like that. Oh, this is just gonna search it for them, isn't it? Okay, hold up. This could work to our advantage. Huh? Stacking Dark Magician on top. Are they just drawing one? So they drew the Dark Magician, okay? I'm questioning if I even want them to kill this Nova Summoner. I could just Magic Cylinder this. 
What are the stats on Kendama? Kendama's 22. I don't even have to. Eh, fuck it. That works too, I suppose. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's actually go for the Mist Archfiend. I don't know what this other card is. So I'm going to have to deal with that. Because they did take damage this turn. Is it Magician's Robe? And it has 2,000 defense? It was! Okay. So they still have a Dark Magician in hand, which is fine. And Magic Karibo is kind of annoying. Oh no, not again. Well, we know what everything is. That is the best thing that could have happened. Thank you very much. I will take a Tamias. Thank you. He's working for me now. You think I care about Nova Summoner? Be my guest. Uh, I, as much as I would like to get Ohm, I am going to get the Herald here. It's cool, too, because Nova Summoner summons in defense. You've got nothing left. Oh, you've got stupid Magic Karibo. That's it. Uh, okay. So, what sucks is that even if they... It's damage, so I should do it. Oh, this is a five. Oh, it's not Zoma. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is backfiring. This is backfiring. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I forgot these are fives. Yeah, you can make Pleiades and stuff with this. I forgot. That's so annoying. And you can just summon out another one. Okay, that was a that was a misplay. They can attack here, they can pitch. Yeah. It can summon from deck or grave too, can't it? God, that's so annoying. They can just summon the same one. Okay, maybe they'll be greedy and just attack Wakero because they want the damage. That would be the best case scenario. Okay, I don't like the fact that they have back row now. Scary. Oh, thank you. Okay. Ah, Zoma might just be better. I could just crash into this Dark Magician girl for 26. Get him down to 13. Maybe that's just better. I'm going to hold on to this. I mean, we're kind of at this, like, weird impasse. I'm not going to be able to get in, because they're going to do the Magic Karibo thing over and over again. So I think what I'm actually going to do is... This is fine. Um... Did this just make things easier for me? I think I just attacked the robe. Okay. Now, like, Zoma's practically lethal. Yeah, that's fine. I don't even want to set anything. I'm chilling. So, are they going to try to crash their Dark Magician to buff their Dark Magician girls and then try to start getting in? Is that the play? I don't like that. Oh, it might be. Unless they just try to clear Herald and nothing else. Oh, they are going to go for it. Okay. All right. Oh, this is going to get disgusting. <laughs> You better not summon from Graveyard. 
Otherwise, this is not going to go well for you. Okay, they got it from deck. Good. <laughs> oh my god. Are you guys ready? How much you want to bet they do not read what this card does? No! I forgot about navigation! I didn't read my own cards! <laughs> Shit! Oh no! Are we dead? No! We're dead! <laughs> I didn't read my own cards. How did we lose? Oh my god. Magician's navigation. If there was no fucking prompts in this game, I guarantee you they would have forgotten that card was in their graveyard. Oh my god. I'm salty. I'm salty. We, we had that game in the bag. I need to look something up. Oh my god. I could have played around it too. You have to control Dark Magician in order for it to be activated. Fuck! Oh man, that, that sucks even more. I could have just activated it at any point when they didn't have Dark Magician up and it would have been fine. Alright, I deserve to lose then. I deserve to lose that. Well, we can out Draco Future. Okay. Um, this is surprisingly beatable, I think. Uh oh, never mind. Depends what they summon with this. Barrier statue? Oh, never mind. Okay, now this got a lot harder. Um, problem is they get something back if we kill Ensemble. Is this during, during the end phase? Ooh, that's gonna be annoying. So I think I know what we have to do. Uh, this is normal summoned, right? Yeah, okay. Oh my God, he's still gonna have a Karis though. He might just be dead. Fortunately, I can't deal with everything. Yeah, unfortunately, we just can't deal with everything. Still have a nerve all in hand, too. Yeah, so it's not great. We're probably dead. They just go Curus, uh, Curus, Banish 4, Shurag, Banish MK3, and then I'm basically dead. So let's see if they do that. That's four. We're dead. I'm kind of impressed we were able to crack the board as much as we did, in all honesty. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, if we're just setting, I'm okay with this. 
Oh, we're not just setting. Okay. <laughs> Adding Bora. Please just pass here. Don't, don't hit the card out. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's fine. Okay. How do I out this? Well, that'll do it. Okay, I've got an idea. A lot of things need to go right for this to work. Oh, please, please, please hit this 50-50. Please hit this 50-50. I am begging you. Yes! Oh my god. That is the best fucking outcome. That makes this infinitely easier now. Sometimes you're just fucking lucky. Okay, and we have... Well, I guess we would have drawn removal next turn, but you know what? I don't care. The fact that they have summon responses. That's fine. That's I'm totally okay with that. So what I was thinking of doing was if they just attacked with Ouroboros, we cylinder, dodge the attack, then summon a thing, make a firewall exceed dragon, and then we could have attacked over it because we could detach attack. Oh no, we can't even detach attack crusader. That wouldn't have worked. All right, whatever. We would have figured out something else. We would have drawn Parasomnia Pillow. Everything would have been fine. Good. That's another good one. It's another good one. Um, I am actually going to go for that. I mean, they turn... They turn one Ouroboros me. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that they'd Solemn Judgment Leo. But at the same token, like, they may not have anything else. Please draw, like, Shura or something. That would be so funny. Okay. Uh, they can just reset the card. It has to be face up. There is a world where that was bad. I don't know if this is like wind blast or something like that could have just been like terrible. I think we probably win. Okay, good. All right. We defeated Blackwing Ouroboros Turbo. Back to silver two already. We're, we're climbing. We're climbing.